Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten. This video is going to show you some of the functions of the manual check and payment entry that is available in Sage 100. On screen, we are looking at version 2018 with the latest service pack. I have gone into manual check and payment entry, and what I'm going to do is a check. Now, we're going to start out with a what we call a quick print. This is where I have not created the, in, the uh, check yet, and I need to print it out, but I need to either apply it to an existing invoice, apply it to a general ledger account number, or create an invoice on the fly. Let's see how that's done. I'm going to click on the little printer icon here. It's asking me for my check date, and I'm going to put a check amount in, and I'm going to choose a vendor. When I come to the Lines tab, I have some choices. I can click on Invoice Number, and let's go find um, an invoice that we want to pay. Let's pay this one. We're going to pay for the whole invoice, but I still have some of my check left. I have $300 left. For one, for $200, I'm going to create a new invoice. When I do this, it prompts me, is this a new invoice? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to tell it how much that invoice is. Here's my $200. And I come to the end of my row. And now it's asking me to put in my account numbers. And you can see I can put multiple account numbers. Mine happen to default because that's what's on this vendor's account. The next thing I'm going to do, the next line, I'm going to put this directly to a general ledger account. Again, it's going to be the same one and maybe just to shake it up, I'll change it to uh, something else. And here's my $100 and of course you could see I can do multiple lines of distribution. So on this one manual check, which I haven't printed yet, you could see that I can pay an existing invoice, I could create a new invoice on the fly, or I could simply put this to a general ledger account. When I click on Accept, it's going to bring up the Print dialog box. Here's my check, next check number, my check date, and I'm simply going to print. And uh, you won't be able to see the print because it's going to my physical printer because we do know that if you try to preview, it doesn't recognize it. Let's give it a chance to do its thing. It's telling me that if the check is printed, I've checked it, everything looks great. It's giving me an OK, and now I am ready to update my invoice register. My, actually, I should say my manual check and payment register. Let's take a look at it and see what happens during the posting process. I'm sending this to Paperless Office so we'll all be able to view it. Here is our check register and we're seeing that I have you recall the new invoice. This is the one that went to um, just a standard uh, GL account without creating an invoice. And here's the invoice that it paid. So I got a lot of action just in one little transaction. I'm going to go ahead and update. And then, of course, my daily transaction register. Give this a try. You're going to find that the manual check and payment entry actually has a lot of functions. I'll be showing those in other videos. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thanks for watching.